What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today we're actually doing an update on the Explore 9 through the One Boat Network app by Humminbird. And uh, I had actually one of our viewers uh, recommend this video, so I haven't done this before um, on camera. I have done it before. It does take a little while, so I only do recommend this if you don't have a computer to download onto an SD card and insert it in your unit. Uh, this works great if you um, don't have a computer, only have a phone or a tablet, and you can download it straight off that One Boat Network app. So let's dive into it right now. All right, guys. The first thing we want to do here is hit this home screen icon right here. Go to your One Boat Network and hit on the phone setup right here. Connect the phone, and it says uh, go to your phone, go to your settings, turn on Bluetooth on. So what we're going to do is turn the Bluetooth off, back on, and go down here, scan in for some more. Explore 9. Click on this here. We're pairing it up. Click confirm, Bluetooth pairing request, pair, done. All right, so we have our phone connected here. Now we're going to move on to the next step. All right, guys, so now we connect our, or get into our network, One Boat Network app. Click down here on network and updates, and it has your unit right here that you're Bluetooth to. So right here, it's got, uh, it says the, Installed software is 5.080. They have the available update of 5.120. We're going to click on this download update, and it's downloading right now. And we're just going to wait a few minutes here. And it does take a minute. It's scrolling across the bottom right here. And uh, I'll let you know here when it's all the way over to the right. All right, guys, we had to move closer to the Wi-Fi connection. Uh, it was taking a really long time just to download the update on this One Boat Network app. And now that it's downloaded, it has the transfer software button. So you got your unit powered on. You have your plenty of battery life in your phone. You hit this transfer uh, software button and it has do not want it or do you wish to continue estimated transfer time an hour and 25 minutes um, So that is a lot of time Yeah, it's easy off of your phone But it does take that time if I were to download that Update on the SD card and stick it in this unit. It would literally take one or two minutes um, So what you do is you hit confirm and it will start the transfer process on this phone and uh, what you want to do is make sure you have plenty of battery life in your unit, plenty of battery life in your phone, good Wi-Fi connection, um, and that is exactly how you do that. Hit that confirm button and you'll start that download process, but you do not want to end it once it's started. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. This does work. Um, however, you want to make sure that you're bad, you, know, you have plenty of battery power in your unit, your phone has plenty of battery power, um, and your Wi-Fi has a good signal. In an hour and a half, a lot of things can go wrong. So I do recommend using a computer, an SD card. Um, this is the kind of a last case scenario. If you don't have a computer, want to do that update, you could use your phone, do it right from your phone. And I have successfully done this before um, and just kind of left my phone there next to the unit, let it do its update process, and it did update. It worked great. It just takes a very long time, and you know, if I don't know that something would have, you know, if you lost Wi-Fi signal, your Wi-Fi went down, and uh, your Bluetooth connection went out, something like that on your phone. If it's halfway through that update, I'm really not sure what would happen, and that's kind of why I do recommend using that SD card because it only takes a minute or two once that SD card's in there. Um, so please like and subscribe, guys. If you have any. Uh, Something that you want to see on video, let me know. Uh, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. We got some more videos coming up. So we'll see you next week.